I'm Lieutenant Dave Levendusky, speaking for the Indiana State Police. And this is VASCAR, an amazing new speed timing device now in operation by the Indiana State Police. With VASCAR, a trooper can easily and accurately measure the speed of any vehicle he sees. And unlike some speed measuring devices, which the officer can operate only while he is parked, troopers equipped with VASCAR can check vehicle speeds while they maintain regular patrol. They can clock vehicles coming in the opposite direction, vehicles approaching from the rear, while following traffic, or it can be operated with the patrol car parked. Right now, I'd like to introduce the inventor of VASCAR, Mr. Arthur N. Marshall, Richmond, Virginia. Mr. Marshall, how exactly does VASCAR work? As you know, Lieutenant, to determine speed, all we need know is the distance travel and the time consumed. VASCAR is a simple mechanical computer that enables a trooper to measure the distance between any two points on the highway and to also record the time it takes any vehicle to cover that distance. Let's take a closer look at the VASCAR device. VASCAR has two switches. This switch allows the trooper to measure distance. He turns it on when the patrol car is at a fixed and predetermined location point on the highway. VASCAR is coupled with the odometer cable of the patrol car, as shown in this diagram. At a second location point, the trooper turns off the switch. Now we have the distance in the machine. This switch allows the trooper to measure time. He turns it on when the violator or target car gets to that same first location point. This engages a timing motor in the VASCAR unit. He turns it off when the violator gets to the second location point. Now VASCAR has both the distance measured and the time elapsed. The trooper merely flips this lever and VASCAR automatically computes the speed which the trooper reads on this calibrated dial. Now that we know how the device operates, let's take a look at what kinds of location points are used. Location points can be overhead bridges, trees, signs or other stationary roadside objects, cracks or expansion joints in the pavement, even painted lines. Troopers pick out these location points by the use of shadows cast by the target vehicle or shadows that are cast on it by stationary objects. These shadows cause a definite change in light density and this change can easily be seen by the VASCAR operator. Now, let's ride on patrol with the Indiana State Police and see VASCAR in action. In this first method, the trooper will clock an approaching car. As the target car passes beneath the overhead bridge, you can see the change in light density. At that instant, the trooper turns on the time switch. As the target car passes abreast of him, the trooper turns off the time switch and turns on the distance switch all in one motion. As he passes beneath the bridge, he turns off the distance switch. VASCAR now has the necessary ingredients of time and distance. It automatically computes the speed. The trooper turns to pursue and stop the violator. Without VASCAR, he would have to pursue at extremely high speeds and then attempt to get an accurate clocking by pacing the target car. With VASCAR, however, all he need do is pursue the car at safe speeds until the violator can be halted. The trooper will show the driver the speed at which he was clocked by VASCAR. In the next method, the trooper will clock a speeder approaching from the rear. In his rearview mirror, he sees the target car approaching at high speed. Passing over a location point, in this case a bridge, the trooper turns on the distance recording switch. 
He watches as the target car rolls across the same location point and immediately turns on the time switch. At a second location point, the shadow of this tree, the trooper turns off the distance recorder. When the tree shadow strikes the target car, he turns off the time. Distance, time, speed, all recorded by Vascar. In this sequence, the trooper will time a vehicle ahead of him, much in the same way he would time a vehicle with his speedometer, except in this case, Vascar will take over the job and practically eliminate any chance of error. The trooper paces the target car far enough behind that the other driver will be unable to see that he's being followed by a police car. As the target car crosses a driveway, the trooper turns on the time switch. When the patrol car crosses this same location point, the trooper turns on the distance switch. The target car casts a shadow on the second location point, another driveway. At that instant, the trooper turns off the time switch and when he reaches this second location point, turns off the distance switch. Vascar tells him how fast the target car is going. In all of these methods, note that it is not necessary for the trooper to travel at the same speed as the violator. Reaction time is not a factor since the operator is able to anticipate when the target car will reach a certain location point. Neither is depth perception an important factor. Repeated tests have shown that it is highly improbable to misgauge when a target car crosses a location point. And even if the trooper did miss the point, as much as say 20 feet, there would be less than one mile per hour error. The tremendous advantage of Vascar is that it can be operated while the trooper is on patrol. But like radar, it can also be operated from a parked position. In this case, the trooper picks out a location point, such as this bridge underpass, and turns on the distance switch. He drives down the road to a point where he can easily observe traffic as it passes beneath this bridge, turns off the distance, and locks it into the machine. As target cars approach, he need only activate the time switch as vehicles travel from the bridge to his parked position. In extensive testing, Indiana State Police troopers were able to accurately pinpoint the speeds of vehicles one mile away. It is also possible for troopers to clock vehicles crossing at intersections. In this method, the trooper has already measured the distance from the intersection to the tree shadow and locked that distance into Vascar. Now he need only measure the time as vehicles pass between these two points. Vascar is not limited to daylight operation. At night, troopers can clock speeders as their headlights pinpoint certain location markers, such as reflective signs or billboards, at bridges or other roadside abutments, and even white lines or other objects on or along the pavement. Vascar stands as a new and vital tool in traffic law enforcement. It is a simple, accurate, and highly versatile device. Most important of all, it vastly increases the effectiveness of the officer on patrol. Our state and national traffic toll is mute testimony to the fact that there is a desperate need to increase traffic control capabilities. If you could ride with any state trooper on patrol, you would soon learn that there are few intentional violators. 
It has been estimated that they comprise less than one and a half percent of all drivers on the road. Tragically, however, this minority makes its presence known in our rising traffic toll. Speeders are gamblers. They gamble that they won't be caught and that they won't be killed. The odds have been in their favor. They escape often, but they kill frequently. Speed kills on our streets and highways, but a traffic arrest now can prevent a traffic death later. Bascar is at work to help reduce the odds favoring the speeder to make our streets and highways safer places to drive.